Yeah, going to concerts before the days of social media, the internet, mobile phones. Well, in the video a few days ago where I spoke about sort of traveling before the days of, of the internet, social media uh, and mobile phones and someone asked me the questions about concerts. Um, and the first thing that came to mind for me was Oasis. I went to see Oasis in Nebworth. It was August 96. It was an incredible experience, albeit uh, I was into grunge. I still, still like my grunge now, but I was really into grunge at the time. Alice in Chains, yeah, Soundgarden, uh, Nirvana, Pearl Jam. Especially back then, it was, was a lot more, more my thing. And I, you know, I still like those bands now, obviously. But sort of reflecting on that experience there, because I'd obviously been to sort of a lot of concerts before uh, the days of, of, of the internet and so on and so forth. And, and I'm sure a lot of people who are watching the video have too, but sort of reflect on that experience itself. It was an incredible experience and, and sort of looking back on it, um, at that time I was working in, in doing some work in a factory and playing a bit of semi-pro football, uh, as well as doing some training. I'm a conditioning coach, top conditioning coach, you know, Chris, Chris Butler, what a top man he was, massive influence on my life. And, and yeah, it was an incredible experience. And just to be there and, and it, looking back on it now, it's hard to imagine uh, for a lot of people sort of going to a concert, not having the intent, not posting, nothing like that. I mean, I went, when I went to sort of Nebworth Watch Oasis, I didn't even have a, a camera. I didn't even bother to bring a camera with me, with me. It was just like this, this surreal experience. And what an experience, what a, what a buzz really, just really in the music. And albeit, like I said, I was more of a grunge person. I liked Oasis, and, you know, but I was more of a grunge person. Just the whole experience, the whole atmosphere was incredible really in the moment and one of the things that sort of stuck with me was like the encore they had like this encore and after the encore they played champagne supernova and it was just it was kind of like everyone just really in that moment really absorbed in the moment all sort of tuned in all at one listening to the tune and the vibe itself so yeah it's 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 incredible sort of to reflect back on that but if you've sort of had any times that you've been to like concerts before the days of social media, the internet and, and so on and so forth, feel free to share. Um, but certainly in my experience, this was completely, almost completely different. It's hard to imagine, I suppose, for a generation of people who sort of go to concerts, uh, who have gone to concerts afterwards where, you know, the internet's been a big thing, mobiles. And I'm not saying it's a bad or a good thing. It is what it is. I've certainly been to sort of concerts and brought my phone and, uh, and so on and so forth, but it, it is really interesting to reflect on that space in time, really. So if you've sort of been, uh, feel free to, 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 to leave a comment who you saw and how different the experience was for you to what it became after the social media, internet, uh, mobile phone coming into play.